Hi everyone. Good morning and good afternoon. So in today's session, we we'll look into procurement agent concept in fusion applications. So we know in EBS buyer definition, the same buyer concept here we can see as a procurement agent. So when you talk about buyer definition, so what we do first we create employee, right? We create employee in HRMS application. The same employee will add into buyers list, which we call as create buyer. Okay, we create the buyer. It's a simple setup where you have, we have to add the employee as a buyer into the list called as buyers. Okay, similar concept how we have in EBS in fusion application compared to EBS. We are going to see that. So in EBS, so we create employee and we'll create as a buyer. We don't set any control set buyer level, but the same buyers concept we have in fusion applications as procurement agent. So however, you can create, you can make employee as a buyer in fusion also. We can create procurement agent who is created already as a employee only. Here we call as to create the procurement agent in fusion applications. First, we have to create the employee user, not just employee. We have to create the employee user. Ignis the employee, we have to create the user that employee user can be classified as a procurement agent. Employee user can be classified as a procurement agent. When you compare with EBS, EBS, we create the users. The, the, we don't have any classification for users, but fusion applications, what are the users we create? The users are classified into two types, employee user and implementation user. So the employee user can be classified as a procurement agent implementation user. You cannot create as a procurement agent since implementation user is not going to be employee user definition. So those points already we discussed very detailed level and we created implementation user and employee user in our previous classes. Now in the today's session, we'll see, okay, how to convert our employee user as a procurement agent, why we have to have procurement agent as a mandatory we'll see that when you talk about EBS the in EBS anyone can create the supplier site if you have access to a supplier definition page through specific responsibility of menu we can create the supplier header information supplier site information the site can be assigned to any operating in it but in fusion this task you can perform only for from procurement agent if the user is classified as a procurement agent, then only will be able to create supplier sites and sites can be assigned to specific business unit. We know the operating unit we are calling as business unit in fusion applications. Fine. We'll just go and look into those few points. Here I have given one slide to understand more about this procurement agent. So who can act as a procurement agent? The employee user you can classify as a procurement agent. You cannot create any user as a procurement agent. Okay. So why procurement agent required when we are working on the fusion applications related to procurement process, why we require procurement agent in EBS to create certain documents, the user need to be classified with that user, whatever the employee you associated that has to be classified as a buyer, but here, we have more controls which we can set procurement agent level. Apart from that, we have certain functionalities which works based on procurement agent role only. We'll see those. So why we require procurement agent? The reason is if you want to create the supplier site in fusion applications, we know we have a supplier definition as supplier profile under supplier profile will have an address under supplier address, we can have supplier sites. Those sites can be associated with the specific business units. So in case of EBS, we have header and sites. When you talk about sites in EBS, we create 
address as a part of site for that address will give the specific name as a site name that will be associating but here they just separated the definition that already we have seen in the system how to define it so now anyone can create supplier and supplier address so if you want to create any supplier in the system any user require access to role call as supplier manager if you have access to role called as supplier manager you will be able to create the supplier and supplier address but if you want to create the supplier site and if you want to assign the site to specific business unit it is mandatory that user has to be classified as a procurement agent before that that should that user should be defined as an employee user the employee user can be classified as a procurement agent that agent only can create the supplier sites and the supplier site assignments okay the same point i given here the supplier and the vendor can be created by any user but supplier address can be created by only procurement agent and the site can be assigned to the specific bu for which bu that user is defined as a procurement agent say for example you have 10 business units but you have one procurement agent where you define the procurement agent when you are create simple point when you are creating the procurement agent you have to specify that is the person is going to work as a procurement agent for which business unit say so you while you are creating the procurement agent say you created uh, the agent for bu1 now if you have a supplier site the site you can assign to only bu1 from the specific agent the same agent wants to assign the same site to multiple bus before that we have to create that procurement agent for those other bus also that means the procurement agent is belongs to how many bus okay the procurement agent is associated with how many bus for those bus only the supplier site can be assigned by that agent that's how we have a control but in case of ebs if you have a site for how many operating units you have access for any operating unit you will be able to assign there's no control mechanism which we see in the ebs but in the fusion so the agent is agent for which be used for those be used only the sites can be assigned and other point here is document access when you look at ebs case so we don't have any controls at document level which documents which buyer can have access okay there we have a direct option where you can go to certain function from there what are the values you, you see as a drop down values you can select you can create and you based on your approval limits that flows but in fusion when you are creating the procurement agent you can go and give the document access the procurement agent require access to which purchasing documents and which purchase agreements and negotiations rfi rfq for which sort of documents the procurement agent require access that you can specify apart from that if you want to allow one procurement agent to have access to other procurement agent related documents by setting the different level of security that we can implement in fusion applications at the time of procurement agent definition okay now we'll just go and see how to create the procurement agent in fusion applications okay just let's look into this so if you want to create the procurement agent you can search for the task called as manage procurement agent task from functional setup manager home page or else you can do it from specific project so what are the project you have to create the procurement agent okay so you can do it from that project let's use one of the existing project say cloud one thing there is one project called as cloud one in this environment so you have to search for the task called as procurement agent so a procurement agent search for the task called as procurement agent so the same task is available from different offerings from financials this is a path to define the procurement agent from procurement this is a path available again within the procurement there is simple path which is available to define the procurement agent select any one of the task manage procurement agent just click on this task so just it is that would be open to create the definition so here you can see the manage procurement agents under go to task 
we have a icon just click on that just click on go to task now this is a page where you can create the procurement agent so to create the new procurement agent 